Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages from Spirit that I get to help us all on this journey to unconditional love. And so firstly, I just want to say to everyone that is impacted by the hurricane, um, I hope that everyone is okay and all your families are okay and I'm sending you lots of love and light out to you. Now, um, the message, this message is actually coming from that storm basically because um, I was just listening to this this um, uh, radio thing about it and it was saying about in Florida, which is the biggest impact, there are 2.7 million properties at risk. Now 2.7 is obviously 27 and 27 is the this card, which is the walking away from all energies that aren't supporting us anymore and closing the gate on the past and walking into more and more of the cosmic heart and the pink heart for unconditional love. And so, um, I also, um, there was an article that was saying about the, the tidal waves that it's causing is a 23 foot wave. Now 23 is obviously 5, which is change. And so there's no stronger, you know, we only have to look at nature to give us the signs of what they're wanting us to know. Because it is, you know, if you think about water, it's about emotions, it's about, you know, clearing out all emotions that aren't supporting us anymore. And literally the wind of change, right? Everything that we've been seeing and getting in messages is now playing out in this, you know, basically in this um, storm. Because in here, if you look here, there is 22 against it. So I was just scrolling down and I was like, oh my goodness. There's, uh, there are 22, but right underneath 22, there is then 11, 11. And angels, right? Right there. 11 and 11, the 22 and angels. Now, if you haven't, don't follow my messages before, then 22 is the sign of the beloved and keep the faith and keep the hope. And trust, 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 trust. Because... You know, this is, you know, that basically that you will be helped in your situations. So I would just want to say, so there's 11, 11 and 22. And I just want to say, and obviously 27 against this. So very symbolic about, you know, a huge storm to clear away energies. And of course, my heart goes out to every single one who is impacted by this storm. And I truly hope that you're all okay. So when I asked to do, so I was just led to do this message uh, because it's 27 again. And also I picked then a um, what was the guidance uh, that they wanted to say and it was about round and round. Now round and round is the spiral as well and it's about raising yourself up in your consciousness. And it's also number 25 which is the soul. So even though we can't see at the time, right, these things that are just terrible, you know, tragedies, people losing their homes and people losing, you know, just horrendous. But again, there are stamps of um, divine messages all the way through them. So, and the message is, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated and cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level, looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. So it's about expanding your consciousness, right? Walking away from all energies. You know, this is so symbolic that the tidal wave is 23 foot, which is five, which is change. And it has 27, 22, 11, 11 all over it. Because it is the time of change. It's a tidal wave of flooding of emotions, of washing away the past to bring in the new. And also being able to look at that from a higher perspective. Because obviously when you're in the eye of, you know, when you experience that storm, it is horrendous. And so, of course, you're like, why is this happening? Why would this be happening to us, right? Which is, of course, your natural, you know, your home, everything, everything, you know, everything that you know, right? But uh, it's looking at it again from a higher perspective. So... 
trust in your journey just in the same way you know just as in these journeys it creates such huge turmoil in your life right there is no getting away from that it absolutely does it challenges you to the core of everything I mean there's just it is like being in the storm right because your emotions are all over the place everything's all over the place your life gets turned upside down you know all of that happens as part of the journey but it's to elevate you higher and higher and higher um to really to be like they said i mean the fact that this says you know uh the gu the guidance around this was about being able to see from a higher perspective and also the message that today was from the the spider and the spider is about seeing through the web of illusion um which again is is you know is such you know all of the messages are so interwoven right they all link into the next into the next into the next um the other thing in the readings that i've done for people this morning the card that kept coming up was re uh was new life right so i'm going to read that so again it kind of amazes me because i shuffle and i shuffle and i shuffle <laughs> but the same cards keep coming up so the message is New energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnership in all forms. So, there you go. It's all about rebirth. So there is literally a washing away of the old to bring in the new. So I just want to say again, I hope that everyone who has experienced or been hit by the storm is okay. I hope you're, all your families are alright as well. And my heart goes out to every single one of you. All right, um, if you want to come to me for a healing or to join the crystal grid that I do to help all twin flames and their unions and to send love and light around the planet, um, and to really anchor love and light onto the planet. Um, and if you want to have a reading, then please do. I'm also starting a new offering, which is basically for $10. I will um, ask your higher selves what is the key message for you and your from your twin, basically, to say to you now. So what is the key message they want to give you to help put you on your highest path? And it will be just a, a, basically, um, I'll send you an email with what they say. And they might get a song or something as well. So this is just a message from your twin, basically. And it is $10. All right. All of my other offerings are in the description box. But I just want to say, yeah, my heart goes out to everyone. I hope you're all okay. And trust that there is a divine plan. And trust that we are washing away literally all energies that aren't serving us anymore. And that's playing out in our surroundings right that's just you know Gaia showing us right there so um yeah I hope everyone's okay all right take care bye